Welcome back to another Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll explore some of the components Bootstrap has to offer. You can find the components on the Docs page of the Bootstrap site. Scroll down to Components, and you'll see a list of the offerings. Some examples are Alerts, which you can apply the Bootstrap color classes to, Buttons, Cards, you can use for formatting content, Modals, the off canvas component popovers spinners and tooltips to get started implementing some of these components we'll add a responsive menu to our demo web page using the bootstrap navbar component as you can see on the component pages Bootstrap provides a description of each component, explains how it works, lists the supported content, and has demo code you can copy and paste into your web pages. Here, I'll click the clipboard icon to copy this example code, then paste it into a web page. I'll save the file, then load it in the browser to see what this looks like. And here we've simply added a responsive menu to our web page. We can add additional components to our page such as alerts, by again copying the code, pasting it into our page, saving, and viewing in the browser. Maybe we'd like to provide breadcrumb navigation for our users on our pages. We can find the component, scroll down, copy an example, and paste it in our page. Save it, go back to the browser to see the breadcrumb navigation applied. From here, let's jump over and look at Bootstrap Forms. You can scroll down, grab the code for the example, and paste it in our page and now we have a form. It's really that simple to add bootstrap components to your pages. Reference the documentation, read the details of the component, start with their sample code, and then modify to meet the needs of your application. Some other form components are the form control, which allows you to provide custom styles and sizing the form elements, such as input fields and text areas, the form select control, which adds an HTML select element to your page, checkboxes and radio buttons, and an input group for grouping form elements. Bootstrap also provides a range control, floating labels on your input fields, and form validation. It's important to note that for form validation to work, you must include some JavaScript code which interacts with the form elements to perform the validation. As an example, I'll copy the sample code from this page and paste it into our demo web page. I'll save the code, then load it in the browser, and click the Submit Form button. And you'll see that the form validation does not occur. So, what we need to do is go back to the validation page documentation and scroll down to where they provide an example of the JavaScript code needed for the validation. I'll copy this, then go back to my page, scroll down and then after the script which includes the JavaScript for bootstrap I'll paste this code in because it's JavaScript I need to wrap it in an HTML script element I'll save the code and go back to the browser and now when I submit the form we see the validation is applied I realize we haven't covered JavaScript in the tutorial series yet but this code will be enough to get you started with bootstrap form validation for now in the next video We'll take a quick look at some of the Bootstrap example templates you can use to quickly start building your website.